All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Big Wes here, another episode. Big South Ranching. If y'all are new, this channel is about our journey here in South Mississippi, starting a ranch, trying to make it work. Uh, today's episode. Look at, it. got a cow in heat. Look, the one on the bottom I means she's in heat. These other cows will start mounting her. I'm gonna put my bull. Yeah, I'm gonna put my bull here in the next 30 days. Get to it's about breeding soon, but stay tuned. We'll sh we'll show an episode on that. But today's episode, we're gonna show y'all another method of putting out plant ryegrass. We're gonna broadcast it. I got the seed hopper, seed slinger. Got PTO driven right there by the tractor. You open it up in the bottom, and that thing slings around and just slings it out. I'm gonna fill this hopper up with some seed. I'll show y'all firsthand what it is. Alright guys, if you notice, I am planting with two different varieties. One's a white bag, one's a brown bag. I'm just doing that for insurance, sorta. Of. The white bag's a better quality seed. The brown bag's a little cheaper seed, but some's got tolerances, cold tolerances better than the other. Some's got rust resistance, which is a disease and Anyway, I'd just rather have a little play, mix, match. It's both ryegrass, just a little different variety. So that's the whole purpose of it. Out 
He ran off, but I, I really don't think I, I hit him. It's so hard. I, was, I got up on top of my truck right there. Having shit over those cows. It's all mangy cow. It didn't look good, but he's so small. It's about like trying to shoot a rabbit out there. If I did hit him, oh well. He'll die. Not. We'll keep an eye on them. Take them coyotes. Okay. I've been putting out a little rye grass with this seed slinger. I'm not getting out enough seed. I'm going to show y'all the sun. Right here is how it adjusts. You pull this lever down right here. Let's see. Right? And then you pick it back up. Pull it down. And that adjusts you so you can loosen I have a jam nut right there. That's an extra one because this factory one slips in. But I'll show you the bottom part right here. Opens it up. Sorry, the focus ain't real good. There you go, that seed comes up, opens up. Opens up, closes. Let me clean that screen up. Oh yeah. Got that. Got that on. Got that on. Loosen it up. Let's try that. Let's see if I can get to the bad boy. Nope. There we go. Alright. Snug so get up. We'll be good to go. Oh yeah, I see it's stripped out. That's cheap factory stuff for you. We're gonna call it a day. Keep in mind though, when adjusting that seed slinger, your speed. I could have made that first adjustment work but I'd have to go real slow to get out the desired rate. I wanted to get a little faster and get things done, so I opened it on up a little bit, put out a little more seed. So that's going to probably be about it on the seed slinger and broadcasting ryegrass over summer pasture. And I got to thinking too, that coyote we had a run in with, like two days before there was a cow calving like 20 feet from where he was at. I bet you he was smelling some of the blood after birth. Uh, cattle do try to clean up most of the after birth, but I did actually get a little bit on fit, film, so check it out real quick. We got a cow. It's one of the last ones, Kevin, right now. This is like the only one we've caught out of 40 of these. And uh, I'm gonna sneak up and try and get y'all some footage of it. Well, I done got caught. I don't, I don't guess I need to be a Navy SEAL because I'm not, I'm not good at sneaking up, I don't guess. 
that's a good sign that's how it works that's how us ranchers make money big cows make little cows so. we'll stick around oh it's starting to get up let me turn the video around that's her right there she gonna leak up all that placenta everything she's still got her eyes on her. that burns happened pretty quick that's going to wind up this video. Appreciate y'all watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get notified when we have new episodes. We appreciate y'all watching. And we'll see y'all on the next episode of Big South Ranch.